Hello people, just a short video on how to set up your RX 6600 AMD graphics card with rendering in Shotcut. So here's the option here, use your hardware encoder. You can find this by going to export. Or file, export, video. And you select to use the hardware encoder, select configure and detect. With it's found that HEVC AMF and the H264 AMF for encoding video. You can see that my video here is 2.7 by 1530, so it's basically a 2K video taken on a DJI Mini 2. Um, here's my previous recordings with hardware acceleration using my RX 6600 graphics card 3 minutes and 17 seconds this one was using CPU only and the CPU only uh, used quite a lot of resources from the CPU I can open up CPU core temp here and you can see I'll just start editing a video I'll pop one in here. Onto the timeline. And I'll turn off the hardware acceleration using the hardware encoder. And I'll go file, export, video. We'll call it test2, save. Yes, we'll replace that. And immediately you can see the CPU load has increased dramatically. You'll find that the temperature goes up probably to 80 degrees or more. And the time it takes to render in CPU mode is quite a bit more. It's mostly probably about double than it takes to do GPU rendering. And a combination of GPU and CPU rendering really is what it is. So I think I'll just stop that this job and we'll use our hardware encoder and we've already configured it so we'll just go export export file test 2 yes we'll overwrite that and it'll start rendering in GPU mode now you can see that there's quite a bit of CPU resources here on the left being used, still 43% on one of the cores, 63% on the others. Um, but the GPU acceleration, you know, the GPU clock is quite low. It's only 39 megahertz, 60 megahertz at the moment. I've had it up over 100 megahertz. But this graphics card, the RX 6600, is more than capable of uh, hitting about 2600 megahertz, somewhere in that range. You can see the memory clocks, you know, gone up quite a bit. I think it's maxes out at 1700, but not while editing or not while rendering in shortcut and the temperature is around 50 degrees Celsius my system memory is using almost uh, 10 gigabytes of memory 10 gigabytes just over but I have a maximum of 32 gigabytes of RAM so it's not really intense on resources if you use your hardware encoding in shortcut shortcuts a free video editing software program I'm really happy with this app um, it does my videos really well and really quickly. Uh, it has lots of features and I can basically make all of my videos on here and it's probably similar to any of the top end ones with, without some of the features of course. It is free and open source. So thank you for watching this video and we'll just round it off by stopping this one. You can see that's my CPU performance there. 5 minutes and 53 seconds for one of the videos and 3 minutes and 17 seconds for the GPU render video without uh, you know, just using the GPU and the CPU. The CPU only was nearly twice that time at 5 minutes and 53 seconds. I'll just take you out with one of the GPU rendered with the RX 6600 from AMD and I'm just going to say that if you have trouble setting up the hardware settings just go to your display settings and go to your graphic settings 
and select a desktop app. In this case, I've used Shotcut Video Editor and made it high performance. So I'll take you out with my video. Thank you very much. We've had a lovely time making this, and I'll see you on the next one. Like and subscribe.